Sue Devil here, and welcome back to our Mortal Empires Legendary Dwarf Campaign walkthrough. A relaxing campaign where we're going to paint the map Dwarven Blue, take over every settlement, and see everything there is new to see in the Mortal Empires campaign. And a campaign I've been having an absolute blast playing. Uh, this has been so much fun, and I'm still having fun. We're getting into the quote-unquote clean-up portion of the campaign, but I'm still really looking forward to invading Nagaron, invading Lustria, invading the High Elves and the fights ahead. And each of our armies is different. They're all themed in some way or another, and they're they're really fun. We have more on the way, so Hi. let's get going. I need to go and take care of Buftar, I think. I thought I saw a Wood Elf army coming this way. Maybe I was mistaken. Anyways... Ready. It's time for us to get close. I don't want to get close enough. Well, maybe I can get close enough. If they want to fight me in the underway, they can come and fight me with their three armies. I'm happy to oblige that. So, um, I do also want to move Grom Brindle. You know who I am. I'm going to take attrition. Is there anywhere where I don't take attrition? Right there. So I'm going to head out that way with him, just to make sure I don't take attrition on my way to uh, Magrida. Because we're going to be pushing hard into the into Talea very, very shortly. I do have a bit of a mess to sort out here. Queek is here. Uh, Dragonhorn Mines, how many turns it has left? Four turns. I just want to take a look at this. Yeah. So this will be a fight, like a real fight, but I don't think we can win that with two Saigors. Okay. Four turns. Do I recruit a Lord in Ekrand? I think I do. Just sort out this mess, because we know we have the top knots here. I, I'm not going to go down there. I don't have any armies around here. So let's re recruit a quick Lord here in Ekrand. I just want to see my heroes. 10 and 10, 5 of 5. Okay. So, Lord. Um, what's the max rank we get? 7. Oh, Svenner. You're tough. Armor plus 5, melee defense. Let's get him going. He costs us 0. Yes. Okay. And, um, and ready. so let's recruit. First of all, let's see. I think he has Axe Lord. No, he doesn't. So it doesn't matter what we recruit. So let's recruit some Longbeards. Um, I'll get two, three, four, and we'll get some Quarlers. So they have a little more ammunition. One, two, three, and we'll get a Grudge Thrower. Yep, yeah, it's only two turns, so there we go. So two turns, this has four turns left, We're, we'll be able to run in there. So I should give him a kit while I'm thinking of it. Glittering scales, minus five melee attack, sure. Uh, weapon, weapon of bloodshed, sword of anti-heroes, no. Weapon strength, armor piercing, warrior bane, um, sure. Okay. Magic resistance, ward save, 15%, sure. Uh, passive ability, the other trickster shard, I don't know. Fire ring of Thori. Ah, uh, let's give him a fireball. Rune of striking. Um, do we want to give him anything here? Uh, yeah, we'll give him armor piercing damage. Um, gleaming pendant. Income. Let's give him some public order. Untainted. Let's just for fun. We'll make give him a dwarf. We'll give him a tattooist and a teller of tales if we have one. A teller of tales. Where are we? Slayer ward. Rune of battle. We don't have a teller of tales. Uh, we don't have slayers. Recruitment cost. Income. I guess we go to master rune of Stromney Redbeard. Sure. That's going to give us uh, plus 5 melee attack, plus 4 
melee resistance. A uh, Master Rune of Grungi, sure. That gives us plus 20 missile resistance for their army. So two turns, that's plenty of army to go here and lift that siege. And if Queek does come up, we can kind of help defend in that general area. Okay, Beligar. Beligar Iron Helmet. Uh -huh. Okay, Beligar Beligarson. You have been getting tougher. 65 melee defense. Let's give him... Um, I want to get Deadly Onslaught, so Blade Shield. We'll get him more melee defense, right? This army is all about being tanky. Is there anything I need to get over here? Nope. Everything's good there. So, the we can go to Numus now, Setting and we forward. should have find a surprise. Skaven have been revealed. Excellent. We have here, so, a Plague Priest Wizard. Okay, he is, I don't know what rank, but he has Bless with Filth. Hmm. That's poison, around uh, 40 meters. Poison for, it's like poison for 10 seconds. Minus 20% armor piercing, missile damage, minus 24% speed, minus 20% weapon damage, minus 20% armor piercing damage, minus 20% missile. Interesting. Pestilent breath. Okay, that's a breath weapon. It's weak against armor, which is weak against us. Scurry away. Encourage. Missile resistance 15%. Only 20 armor. Oh my god, he will get absolutely demolished by our uh, Clan Zorak Blueheads. And we have another wizard who has warp lightning. Ooh. Okay. What do we have here? Speed. Yeah, I want this magic resistance on uh, Belagar. Okay. And we have storm vermin with halberds. They do have some armor piercing, but they have bonus versus large. Their armor piercing is actually not very good, and their melee attack is very low. Their armor's good. Plague Monks. These guys have bonus versus infantry, low armor piercing, low melee attack, low... Yeah, our dwarves should demolish these guys if we're looking at. Plague Monks, we should have no problems with them. Uh, what do they do? Scurry away. Strength in numbers. Plus 8 melee defense. Yeah, whatever. Physic oh, they have physical resistance, so maybe they're not as wimpy as they look. Clan Rats, yeah, they look pretty wimpy. 29 melee attack, 22 melee defense, 35 armor. Gutter Runner Slingers. Okay, these guys look interesting. 140 range. Missile damage. Very low armor piercing. Scurry away. Strength in numbers. Snare net. So they can snare you. Uh, so they can kite you. Okay, that's fine. So they have stocks. So they'll be hard to see. And they have 20% physical, physical resistance. Interesting. Poison Wind Globe, Globedeers. Oh, okay, these guys look a little more, more tough. Missile damage. Uh, we have bonus versus large and really good armor piercing. 40. Wow. Their ammunition is magical. Uh, and they have 110 armor. I mean, they don't have very good uh, melee defense, so we, if we get them, we'll kill them pretty quick. They don't have... Uh, they have good armor, but they don't have resistances. Skaven slave and Skaven slave slingers. Yeah, six melee attack, 13 melee defense. The rat ogres. Okay, they, these guys look pretty tough. 84, 61 armor piercing, but they have no armor. And do they have physical resist? Nope. They cause fear, which isn't really a problem for our army, but they have no physical resistance, so we'll be able to kick the snot out of them. They'll, they'll hurt us, but... Warp Lightning Cannon and Plague Clock Catapult. They both have 430 and 400. That may be an issue. Okay, let's get in there and fight. As soon as we take this, uh, poor Queek is going to... Uh, oh, you know what? He may have taken that. It looked like he raised it, but I think Skaven Settlements look like raised settlements. So he may have that one still yet, but he's not going to be able to recruit anything good out of it. He does have a decent army himself, though, to be honest. But uh, Beligar is doing what he is meant to do. He's finished off uh, Skarsnik, and he's on a quest to finish off For the Queek. For the ancestors. Okay. Ready. Droop. 
Uh, Belliger is going to be out front. He's going to take any shots. Um, you can be back here. Oh, I wonder how far. Okay, let me see. We'll see where their catapults can reach. Um, yeah, I'm just going to get everyone over here. Let the vengeance begin! Iron tricks! Thunderers! Quarrelers! Anybody else over here? Nope. Okay. Let's start the battle. I want you all there. Ooh. I'm glad I got the magic resistance. I wonder if the Plague Claw, Claw Catapults are going to be able to reach us. They're all the way over here. I think we outrange them with our artillery, so we should be able to finish them off pretty quick. And are we out of range of this one? Yes, we are. Perfect. What? <laughs> okay, well. They spawned an enemy unit. I guess it's not going to last long in this pile. Um, did we get it? Yes, we did. Let's get this one now. I want to see what these guys are going to do to me. Oh, they got another group. Okay. Got some clan rats. And you guys. Okay. We'll get you guys here. You guys are going to go right here. Right. So I want you guys grouped. I want you guys grouped you grouped you guys grouped you, you guys grouped whoops well, did we just get shot by something well, another clan rats okay well that's fine What are you guys doing? So I'm going to just go take that wall. Okay, you guys. Um, let's shoot here. Yeah, I want to finish that wall off. So we're just in range of them now. Where's their range end? Their range ends well before ours. That's fine. Well, they keep spawning, guys. Okay, well. We'll get them. Uh, I guess we get these guys. No. No. Absolutely not. I want you guys right here. You guys right here. Okay, I want you guys to stay back here, please. Okay, I want you guys here. You guys right there. Okay. And I want you guys. Group. Right here. No. Just want you like this. Okay. Okay, Belagar. Are you taking down this wall? Okay, I want you guys. Playcock catapult. Okay. 
We should be able to finish off that plague claw catapult pretty quickly, I would think. Yeah. Hey, I said I want you to shoot the clay. Yeah. Okay, are you taking the door, Belliger? Okay, hey, uh, you guys. How you doing? Yeah, these guys look pretty awesome. Man, the fantastic artwork there. That is fantastic. Great job they did on these guys, hey? Man, they look awesome. Um, why are you not shooting over here, buddy? How many times do I got to tell you? Why are you really going to do this? Okay, alright, so... They gotta be back here right now. Okay, Belligar. Taking down the door. Having some fun. How happy do these guys look? They don't look so happy. <laughs> uh, they don't. They're like. Oof. Can we fix it? I don't think we can fix it. Maybe. I don't know. Someone knows how to fix it, right? That's what they're kind of they're talking about right now. These are rat ogres. Um, no. Hmm. You know what? I probably need to bring these guys give them some more angle yeah I just need to give them a little bit more angle here I think Belligar are you taking down that door okay how is everyone out here okay I need to get you guys up here Let's get you guys why are you guys right there? Because that thing has a very low arc of fire, I believe. So, now I don't even need to take that damage. So why will I? There's no reason for it. I just... Date outdoors, gate damage. Okay, now... That's better. Okay. Good. Excellent. Those things look really good. They're really nice, nicely put together, like good artwork. Very nice. I guess they're trying to get out of the road. You got that door down yet, Belligar? Uh, that's pretty disappointing. You should be doing better than that. Um, okay. Good. Let's just watch some of the shots here. Okay, I think that's gonna they're gonna come through pretty good. Should we run? Flee! <laughs> Should we run? <laughs> That's fantastic. What do you guys think? Should you run? We smell mask of fear. Run, <laughs> flee! We run. Man, these guys all look so awesome. Oh, Belliger's got okay. Well, let's get in here and fight Belliger. I guess. Um, why are you guys stop shooting here? I'm quite sure I never told you to stop. 
Yeah, maybe I put them off of guard mode. I don't know. Okay, so where are you? Which one are you? So here you go. You go that way. And you guys just keep counter battery. That counter battery is going to be really important when we... Uh okay, where are you going? You know, maybe we just give them a nice wide, nice wide kind of uh, grouping. Belagar. They squirt fear mask. See, they run. Can we run? Flee. <laughs> Look, see, they run. Can we run? <laughs> oh, love them. Are you guys all done moving? Okay. This now I want you to shoot this warp lightning cannon, all of you. You shouldn't have to move. Why are you moving? Son of a gun. Okay. Out like this then. So let's get... Um, we know they have ranged in here somewhere. Uh, okay. Is there any plague monks, clan rats? No leaders there, I guess. Okay. Oh, you're out of ammo. Oh, why have I not had my dwarf engineer up here? Dum dum. Okay. Let's go up here. Okay. Are you gonna get it done? Because I hope you can. He, they did get it done. Excellent. Okay. Okay, I want you. I want you in your own group. I want you. Now, right here. Okay. Um, I guess we bring our blue heads in this side. We bring in our... Where's our master engineer? Game and save sing it slingers, so they're not gonna do anything to anyone really. I guess I where do I got my blue heads? Right there. So I get my my master engineer here. Get my cannons in the right spot so I can shoot right down into here. Belagar. Um And where do we have everyone else? Okay, I want you. Right. I want you guys up here. I want you guys. Oh, that's who I want here. Slave Slingers. I want you guys right here. This is going to be incredibly enjoyable. Um, yeah, I think they're out of magic. Let's fast forward it. Uh, okay. Yeah, these guys are these guys are gonna get a billion kills. I want you right. Escape and slave slingers. Yeah, they're not gonna do nothing. Oh yeah. We'll get the blue heads to, I guess, shoot the Skaven Slave Slingers? I don't know. Sure. I mean, that's not a great use of ammo. Hey, what are you guys doing? Alright, I should get you over here, actually. Get you guys just over here. Okay. 
tricks. Kill them. <laughs> Yeah. Should we run? Flee? Ready to fight. Yeah, those are pretty effective, I would say. Hundred and oh, that's Belgar. Alright, can I alt? They flee! No. We run. Make blood. Can you shoot? You I want you to make them faster. Right. Okay, and you. Oh! <laughs> uh, stop, fire at will. Let's go over here. Let's go right over here, Belliger. I guess. So I want you. Fire at will. Cannons. So let's just get them to fire at will. Get these guys. Oh, I see. There's poison wind globadiers. Can I shoot these guys? I think they're a little tougher. Okay. You. Yeah, that's where I want Belligar to be. Nice. Very nice. Um, you guys are firing. You guys are shooting the Globadiers. Yep. Sure are. That's not working out for him. I guess Belligar, you can just stand here. And do whatever you like. Oh, I should bring out my... Thunder is here. Okay, let's bring our Thane up too. Yeah, let's bring him up here. Oh, let's you guys, let's get these uh, poison wind globadiers right here, please. Get you guys. Yeah, get you guys up here. Okay, what are you guys shooting at? Halibriders, Skaven Slave Singers, Poison Wing Globadiers. Yeah, we want more of these guys gone, please. Okay, I guess... Do you guys just come on in here? I guess maybe you come on in here. You guys just pop in here. Yeah, you just guys just come in like this, I guess. Come on, plow through. Under it. Oh, no dwarven knights. Seeking revenge. Let me split you in two. Uh, where's my thane? I guess you can come here. No shoddy contraption here. Story, get in there. Um. I'll get my tools. Move. Battle ready! Let us bleed for the clan! Okay, we'll get... Get those guys going. Blue heads, how you doing? Almost got the Globadiers. Yeah, I want you here. Okay. There's nothing I can fix. Yeah, my thunders I want right there. Okay, you guys. More Globadiers. Okay, and we'll get you. Yeah, you guys can just start shooting. There to absolutely slaughter these guys. Hey, 
Well, that should be pretty good. Got you. Shoot them. Actually, gutter runner slingers. Awesome. Um, Beligar, you want to just go fight them, I guess? We we'll get you. Oh. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, we get you here. Where are my thunders? Okay. Yeah. These guys look so fantastic. They, they, they just look so good. <laughs> They're all different. Yeah. They're really quick, too. Ooh. I like the outlay of this castle. It looks pretty scaven-y. You know, <laughs> these buildings are pretty... pretty crap. <laughs> Uh, oh, I see. It's, it's, it's at work. Oh, there's an old settlement up there. It's just like a big pit in the ground. Cool. That looks fantastic. Okay, we'll end the battle. All right. 254 for our uh, Iron Drakes. This is really fun. 209 for Belagar. Be See, Belagar and Thorgrim are the two dwarf lords that are the best against big groups of troops. Because they both can hit eight units at a time. Uh, Grombrindle can hit up to seven, and Ungrim can hit up to six. So, Belagar is a fantastic lord for fighting in against big groups. There's no doubt about that. Well, none of them got any kills against anyone. We lost eight. It must have been friendly fire. Okay. Let's see if there's a special building in here. Hope there is. I doubt it, but... A, a Skaven Blight's got to have one, right? Okay. Master in a grindy. 20% missile resistance. Excellent. Okay, let's go take a look. Nope, nothing in here, hey? Get rid of that. What's the... I guess... I guess we leave the... Uh, Slayer Shrine in there for the Untainted a plus 8 for a little while. Because if I look at our corruption, yeah, Untainted plus 8. Osmosis, 9. So our Untainted is going up fast, but... So we leave it in there. We do get rid of the, uh, you know, the foundry, the gunsmith forge, siege workshop. We don't need those here. Um, hmm. Don't need balls. We do need growth. We need a tinker shop first, then we'll get growth. We're gonna, <clears throat> we're gonna try and. Slowly push up our income here. And then Springs of Eternal Life. Okay, that these four. And we have Ungram. Is he able to get to the Black Pyramid of Nagash? Okay. Why don't you just go back here? Okay. Can Ungram make it? No, he absolutely cannot. So, it is time. he is going to use the underway, and I hear the gash, and if they want to come and fight I me in the underway, I'm going to make sure I'm close enough that they can bring the garrison to. One rug. And that army if they like. Alright, so i got to take the pools of despair, so we'll colonize that. Ready. Good, and we yeah, it take so much damage when you do that. But... It is what it is. Pools of Despair. Let's build it. Um, Black Tower of Archon. Yep. Uh, okay. Black Tower of Archon. Nothing s special there. Yeah. Tinker Shop. Why did I? Why do I have that? 
I don't need it. Armory? No. Okay. Uh, all right. Bell Aliad, we want the growth to get that gold mine in Bell Aliad up and functional. Time for a okay. Grumbrindle. Coon Hearn, right. So. It's Coon Hearn. Again, I'm gonna, it's going to be a while to get him across here, so there's no point. Do I fight uh, Mogren what? with Coon Hearn? Sure. I think I do. Uh, let's let's use the underway. I can get all the way here, hey? Let's just get right there. Whoops. Let's go. I don't want to trespass. The Sheik. Why do I have that? Um, I want to go to you. Bow before the rightful lords of the realm, and I you are at war with the Neckark Brotherhood. Neckark Brotherhood. Okay, Neckark Brotherhood. I'm gonna just declare war on them. Now before Bow before the rightful lords declare of the war. Realm, and I'll hear your demands. No, I don't need my ally to help. Okay, so now I should be at war Thanks with these guys. Okay, good. Lord. I didn't want to trespass on them. Should have I should have declared war before I jumped in there. Okay, the you. Yeah, you're still headed on the way over here. And we've got you. Still headed right. Is this Kimri? Zandri. Zandri. Kimri. Okay, let's go to you. Our sailors. Right. Actually, we'll take Dwinbar first. Axes, Just make sure he doesn't take attrition there. There's no attrition here anywhere. Nope. Okay. So how are we doing over here? Frozen landing, minus six. Boy, yeah, it's 64.5. It's coming down fast. Uh, Thrund. Thirst right. We can take the Temple of Skulls. First of all, the runes I want you to try and damage the walls more. Oh, you failed. That's fine. Now, me if you dare. I don't think they have much of a garrison here, so it should be... Like... Uh, like, how is that even a thing? All right. Magic resistance. Melee attack. Plus six. Um, sure. Yeah, I guess. I'm, I don't know. The wall should be pretty beat up, right? And it's like seven units. The wall should have some holes in it left from our, um, runesmith. Actually, they do have two Croxagores, I get it. I mean, they're tough, and they have a they have a big beast over there. Sure, sure thing. Got it. But I don't even know if we need to... I think we can kill everything with our cannons, maybe. I don't know. Where's the damage to the walls? There should be breaches in here, because he didn't succeed this turn, but he succeeded last turn. Well, that's a weird-looking map. Well, it's beautiful, actually. It's gorgeous. Wow. This is the way we came. Okay, well, I guess this is a... What does the map look like inside? Oh, cool. Wow. This is amazing. I guess that's where we gotta get. 
so let's get to it. Um, I guess who wants to take the shots? Thrund? Sure. Oh, we'll just get you guys grouped. You guys... Who has the banners? Well, it doesn't matter. Group. Okay, you st stay back. Group. And I'll get you right here. You right there, and you right there. Or no, it was Scory. Right? He took the shots because he had the, the best uh, missile resistance. Isn't that right, Thori? Ward save 10% physical. Yeah, Mr. So start the battle. I want you guys to shoot this thing. Please. Should be able to get that down in a couple of shots. Maybe, well, one. Okay, well, one it is. Warp tower. Okay, let's take the fort tower down, boys. Take that wall down. Can you not shoot that? This is frustrating. Okay. okay. Do we have an engineer? We do. Okay, get over here. Alright, I want you to be with them, please. You guys, right there. Yeah, we should be able to mop the floor with them. Let's just go here. I want you and you to also go there. Okay, and Slayers, you can just hang back. I know, this army, you don't get to fight a whole lot, but... You're here to protect these bad boys. There's a very good reason for you to be here. Okay, get this going. Okay, can you reach here? Almost. Kill that wall. Okay. Good, kill that wall. Good. Kill that Stegadon, I guess. Might have to go up a little bit. Actually, I want you guys on the Croxagors. You on the Stegadon. You on the Croxagors. Okay. You guys aren't fighting, are you? Um, let's get you guys out here. Okay, let's see. Can you get here? What's your range? What? One cannon here. You guys shooting and winning? Oh, okay, can you guys actually... What are you doing? Alright, okay, that's fine. Can you guys actually hit these guys? No, can you hit them? Temple guards, can you hit them? No, can you do... There. Can you... Okay, can you... Continue to shoot that ancient Stegonaut, please. Because that's what I'd like. You. Temple Guards. Serious? Okay. 
Well, you can't quite shoot them, hey? See if that works. Yep. Okay, what are you doing? Can you shoot this guy? It looks like you should be able to. Oh, now shoot him. Good. Okay. You. You. Yes, yes. We demand blood. So I'm going to get you to get in here. No, I'm just going to get you right here. You know what? Uh, stop. Fire at will. Shoot whatever you can see. Okay. Right, you right here. We'll get you all right up here. So we're going to go in. Oh, yeah, they got some javelins, I guess. All right. I want you right here. Okay. Are we fast forwarding? Yep. I'll just get all of you right here. Okay, I'll get all of you group right here. Okay, you. Let's just, okay. You, okay, I'll do on them. Okay, I want you. No, I want you in here. Okay. Mm. Okay. Are you? Where are you? Right, you up there? Where are you? Want you over here? There. There. You. There. You. There. You. There. You. There. Want you. Runes of smiting upon there. Good loss. Bring the arms down. Okay. Obey me. Your carnival's blessing on us. Okay. And what about you? Okay. Uh, where are you? Yeah, I want you just to go kill that guy. Where are you? Let's go kill them. Uh, you. Go kill them. Slayers. I want you to run in. Okay. Good. Done. End the battle. Okay. Alright. So that's the last defender's last capital. So if they raise another army, it will be quite weak. But I do expect to see Krokgar for one last time. Maybe two, hard to say. Um, but they don't have many settlements left to take. I think they have four.
maybe three, but they're all minor settlements. So, you know, here here on out, it's just go fight, go fight. Maybe I'll let the Slayers fight Croxagor, or Crocgar rather, because they they've been very patient, and I know I realize in this army they they don't get a chance. Oh, that's so much gold. I'm gonna loot and occupy that because I we know half the buildings we don't need. Stonemason, good. Well, same as always. Okay, we. Oh, and of course the we like having these two buildings. Okay, that's fine. Um, we'll let them build up. We don't need walls. I want a tinker tinker maker. We'll get the uh, engineer's workshop and growth. Good enough. And the other two ones, Serpent Coast and Cursed Jungle. And then they have Doom Glade. Is that it? Oh, they do have another one over here. Okay, that's fine. Um, <clears throat> yeah, because even My axe for war. taking that, I know I'm taking two more minor, minor settlements, so I do have a little more time to add the uh, military crackdown or whatever it is, military presence. So, And I'm going to go directly to Serpent Coast, so we should be fine there. I've got Grimnir's Heirs now. Awesome. So my... Hammers are have all have a full plus eight melee attack and plus eight melee defense, so they should be quite strong. Yeah, they're at uh, 59 melee attack and 52 melee defense with 55 weapon strength. I think what is that? 41 is armor piercing, so they're quite quite strong. Okay, go. Who else do we got down here to fight? Looks like we moved most everybody. Uh, Alright, yeah. Okay. Let's just take a look at our buildings now. Okay, Blood River Valley. I want that, don't need it. Okay, definitely. Right, Obsidian Sculptor, we will be using all of that. Like, if we go to our trade, because we only have one of those, go to our Obsidian, we're exporting 100%. So, every level we build in that, we're going to gain. I think we got 100% of our spices. 100% of our exotic animals, and then like if we found a marble mine or whatever, we're only exporting 60%, so it's not that big a deal. Same with uh, wine or beer or furs are 100%. Oh, pottery is 100%. I think we have a place that has pottery. Hmm. I remember th looking at that and thinking, yeah, I don't need the walls there in Channel Valley. Eastern Border Princes. Um... I like that, but I don't need it. Six turns. I mean, it's it's now it's an some of these things are a nice to have. Oh, there's that gold mine. That is an absolute must have. Okay, and we need the trading depot. That will boost the income from the gold mine and a trinket maker. I don't need to build this growth building now. Like, I have good growth in there. A 10 minus 3. I should actually consider... I have Skaven Corruption here? Vampiric Corruption is going up? What the hell? I kind of want to grow, but this is weird. Why do I have Skaven Corruption at all? Local Populace. Osmosis. I'm just going to put Venerate the Ancestors. I mean, I've now got my level 4 gold mine, so that seems perfectly fine to me. Uh, we have Border Princes. We're good there. Northern World's Edge Mountains. Right. Uh, Peak Pass. Rib Peaks. Four turns. We're rank 5 there. Western Badlands. One turn. Okay, so we do Masters of Steel and Stone. And we take this and we demolish the growth building. We can't do that one. Demolish that growth building. We get two more turns there. We can't demolish the growth building in Dragonhorn. But we Masters of Steel and Stone so we can start building because that's going to be rank 5 next turn. 
Awesome. Creator of the Awakening. We don't need the upgraded walls here. I think I'm probably going to get rid of them. Uh, Devil's Backbone. Don't need, need the growth or the upgraded walls right now. Land of Assassins. Yep, we'll take the income building. And I will take that uh, Feast Hall for the reduction in public, or the just to manage our public order. Land of the Dead, I will take the Toolmaker's Workshop for sure for extra income. And in Zandri, another Toolmaker's in Shop. Okay, Western Border Purchase. So we have 1,251 left. Okay. Okay. Commandment available. Where? Oh, Great Desert of Araby. Uh, yes, it has a lot of corruption. But I need to grow this. I'm not taxing it. Okay, the untainted is going up. I need to get this growing. So I'm going to go with the growth. I'm going to let it go close. Like if it gets to 80 or something, we go back to venerate the ancestors. And then we just uh, end the turn. We're moving right along. Yeah, we're losing trade, it looks like. We're only 20,000. i, I got to go check what my total trade is right now. Arch Lecter, Balthasar, Gelt. Here we go. Can he win one? Nope. I don't. He's he had. I don't know if he's won a fight in the entire campaign. I just don't know what. Don't get it. He's got good armor and good magic. Okay, good. So they won again. So boy, so Volkmar the Grim, I think, is. Where are you headed, Volkmar? Precisely. That's kind of weird. Lucini, are they going to go to Mira La? Mir Miragliano Miragliano rather yes they are holy speech <laughs> speech problems okay Carl where are you going is there a wood elf army around there somewhere that I don't see because <clears throat> that seems weird Marius Fluss See, that's a nice little army right there. Like, not brutally expensive, but just all around good. And that's, an, and that's another interesting army. Like, the the AI recruiting in this campaign, I have noticed it so many times how much better it is than the first game. And there we've only had a few really weird armies. And that was when they were down to, like, one settlement or two settlements, so it's kind of it made more, it made more sense. But all the recruiting has seemed to be, for the most part, quite reasonable. Like the the AI armies have been very, very nicely put together in general, and I, I continue to notice it. I guess it's because I played the old campaign so many times in game one, and um, got used to seeing, you know, precisely how the AI recruited. And then when I played this, it was like stunning how much better it was. Well, this is going to be a lot of back and forth. I wish... Well, the Empire's got armies down here. Like It looks like they're going for Talea. I wish I could tell them, Hey, boys, I got Talea. You go up and handle the Wood Elves, because they're going to be eating your lunch up there. <clears throat> and Balthazar Gelt is not getting it done. You need Volkmar the Grim, because he is a beast. And they're just heading right into... Yeah, you know, they're just... Well, maybe not. Looks like they're heading back again already. Of Are they going to attack us? They've ended their non-aggression pact with us. Probably they don't like our... Broken treaties with Talea. Treaties with Lothurin. Yeah, whatever. Luan Leonquil. <clears throat> We're going to fight. You and I. And it'll be a fun fight. With all your flying pegasuses and knights and horses. I have cannons. 
Knight meet cannon. We'll see who wins that fight. Alright, Lothurn. Lothurn or Lothurn? I don't know. Really, it should be Lothurn. Because if it was Lothurn, wouldn't it be L O W T H E R N? Okay. Sloop Talus? Sloop Tal Less. So that's not, not not too. <laughs> Prakish 2. Rakur. <laughs> These lizard men armies. Prakish 2. Sloop Talus. Or are they going to fight? They're going to take the Awakening. It makes me sad. I want it to land there. Well, it's okay. I would take. A, I'm almost done the Southlands. And uh, once I do the Southlands, really, and get Talea sorted out, we're just going to accelerate because nobody's going to be able to get into my back provinces and I can probably go for another round of wall removals. Okay, so Queek is there, and he looks like he's not taking a lot of attrition, so he did take that settlement. And we have an army here, so um, we'll have one in, in another turn. And I can recruit some regiments of renown, you know, and get all that sort of stuff done. Mogan the Devoted. <sighs> Is he going to go take the Sheik? Like, can I kill him? I may. I. Sh Coonhern should be able to go fight him. Really, he should. Skaven Blight. I can't wait to see if there's a special building in there. It is a strategic location. It may or may not have one. But it should. Whether it does have one or it doesn't, it should have one, right? Okay, so they're going to fight us. In Dragonhorn Mines, we do have our walls. They're at 100%. We, I think this is this is pretty winnable. Um, they got two Cygors. That's kind of a problem, but our towers can focus on them. Perhaps we can get our can, one of our cannons in there. And these Minotaurs are... are no joke, but they don't have a lot of armor. And the rest of these guys might as well not even be there. It's really the Minotaurs and the Saigors and their lord. And our Thane, their lord is 70 melee attack, 50 melee defense, and our Thane is 45 and 53, so their lord is going to mop the floor with our Thane, really. 387 weapon strength, 470, yeah. Our Thane won't have a chance. And he has Primal Fury... Yeah, that's they're gonna they're gonna he's gonna rock his world. Ungor, so these guys are nothing. Twenty melee attack, twenty two melee defense. I guess nothing. They're about equivalent to a minor. Twenty one melee attack, twenty one melee defense, twenty and twenty two. Uh, they're quite weak. And the thing that the thing about these guys with no armor, they really they don't have, when they don't have armor piercing and they don't have armor. They are just custom made for dwarves to chop the pieces because we dwarves don't even the their armor piercing units don't have a real high armor piercing value, you know for or for our weapon strength. Dwarf, dwarven weapon strength is actually not that high. So, anyways, I think uh, I'm gonna cut the episode here. I'm gonna have a think on this because this is close. Uh, I would like to win it. I mean, if I lose it, it's not a big deal because we have an army right there, but we do have Queek Head Taker there. And we will uh, start the next episode with this fight against the Beastmen with two Saigors, four Minotaurs, and, you know, a kind of a desperate battle for Dragonhorn Mines. So I'll see you next time on our Mortal Empire's Legendary Dwarf Campaign walkthrough. Have a good one.